Thank you for allowing me to share resources with you today. I am blessed to work with students all over the world on virtual platforms. Just like how we learned our ABCs and one, two, threes, we learned it to a rhythm. So overcoming a symbolic language does take time. My mom has been teaching math and music for over 40 years, and I've been following in her footsteps for over 20 years. When I enter into a classroom, I recall this math acronym, M-A-T-H. Music affects the heart. Our hearts beat to a rhythm, so it's natural to speak and teach in a rhythm. Recall being in middle school. When I teach middle school students how to divide fractions, I think of this jingle, keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. Now I'm going to teach it to you. Okay, it's that simple. When you divide, you flip the other side and you multiply. Now simplify, mm, keep, change, flip. Okay, so we're gonna try it one more time. If you wanna clap your hands, tap your feet, or snap your fingers to the beat. A keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. When you divide, you flip the other side and you multiply. Now simplify, mm, keep change flip, one more time, keep change flip, mm, 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 mm. when you divide, you flip the other side and you multiply, now simplify, mm, keep change flip. So if you don't have an instrument, you could use your fingers, you could clap your hands and tap your feet. What I was encouraging students to do is to keep the first ratio when dividing fractions, change division to multiplication, then take the reciprocal of the second ratio so you can multiply fractions top to top, bottom to bottom, top to top, bottom to bottom. When working with high school students, now recall back to your days in high school, right? It was very challenging and we incorporate some music and rhythm. In geometry class, there's three concepts that are similar in patterns. You have the distance formula, you got the Pythagorean theorem, and the equation of the circle. The distance formula, as we know, the difference of x squared plus the difference of y squared equals d squared. That's distance squared. The Pythagorean theorem works with right triangles where it's the summation of the leg squared equals to the hypotenuse squared. We recall the formula as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, mm -hmm. which ties right back into the equation of the circle, the difference of x squared plus the difference of y squared equals radius squared. So working with middle school students, just like high school students, now let's talk about the college life. When mentoring college students, if they're interested in going into the teaching profession, I tell them there are multiple styles of teaching. Find what works for you and stick with it. Howard Gardner wrote a book on multiple intelligence where students can adapt to. I choose to use math and music together in the classroom since I'm a musician. You may incorporate music in your classrooms, or maybe you may listen to it in the car while you're at work. People use it in English, science, PE, elective classes. It has a calming effect. Myo, Myo Clinic studies have shown that music, music therapy, can ease the stress, reduce any test anxieties as you're listening and studying to a music. It's very calming. I have students pick a song of the day. Now, it needs to be rated PG, no profanity, because we're all learning from each other. Each other. Seriously, seriously, when you type in a song, make sure you click the clean version. So when they're studying, they're studying to a rhythm. And when they're trying an attempt on assignment, oftentimes they give their best 
effort, but they may fall short. It happens. Try again. When we're in band class and we're studying a sheet music, we take our time, break up the stanzas, and break it, break it down step by step. Same way in a math class, just take your time, read the word problems, highlight the important facts, recall those jingles and formulas, and that can help ease the stress when you take in standardized tests. We want more students coming into the education field. Oftentimes, they getting certified and may fall up short, and it's okay. Try again. Let's not give up when facing difficulties. Overcoming the symbolic language does take time. It really does. I use music and rhythm to help me in my math studies, so I'm hoping that it helps you too. Please remember this math acronym, M-A-T-H, that music affects the heart, because what comes from the heart reaches the hearts. Thank you so much.